Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the trends in atomic radius for the elements in the periodic table. Remember that the periodic table shows the elements arranged in order of increasing atomic number. This means that as we move across a period, in other words a horizontal row, each element has one more proton in its nucleus than the element to its left. In this video we're looking at how the atomic radius of the elements changes across and down the periodic table. Now you don't need to get bogged down on how atomic radius is determined, but you need to understand that we cannot measure the radius of an atom directly, as electron clouds do not have a clear cutoff point. However, one way of calculating atomic radius is to look at pairs of identical atoms that have formed a bond. We take the atomic radius as half the distance between the nuclei of the two atoms. I'm showing you here the atomic radius of the elements lithium to calcium. You'll notice that I haven't included the noble gases, as they don't take part in bonding. We can see two periodic trends in atomic radius. Firstly, atomic radius decreases as we move across a period from left to right. So looking at period 2, we can see atomic radius decreasing from lithium to fluorine, and looking at period 3, we can see atomic radius decreasing from sodium to chlorine. I'm going to explain this by looking at period 2, but this applies to the other periods. As we move across a period from left to right, each element has one more proton in its nucleus than the element before. This means that the positive charge in the nucleus increases across the period. Because of this increased positive charge, there's an increased attraction between the nucleus and the electrons, and this draws the electrons closer to the nucleus. This causes the atomic radius to decrease across the period. Remember that outer shell electrons are partially shielded from the attraction of the nucleus by electrons in inner shells. However, all of the elements in period 2 only have one inner electron shell. So this means that shielding due to the inner electron shell is the same across the period. Now the second trend is that atomic radius increases moving down a group. We can see that with lithium, sodium and potassium which are in group 1. As we move down group 1, atomic radius increases. We see the same trend with other groups, for example group 2, which we can see here. I'm showing you here the electron shells of lithium, sodium and potassium. The number of electron shells increases as we move down the group, so the outer electron shell is further from the nucleus. Each element has one more full inner electron shell. This increases the amount of shielding between the nucleus and the outer electron. So for these reasons, there's less attraction between the outer electron and the nucleus, and therefore the atomic radius increases moving down a group. In the next video, we'll start looking at the periodic trends in ionization energy.